back from a spin in the mountains and uh, it's a pretty warm one today. People say, Harley, your bike weighs 10.56 kilograms. How come you ride a bike so heavy? <laughs> sure, I could go out today and buy a, a Specialized S-Works Tarmac SL4, you know, some Zip 202, 6.5 kilos or some crazy, crazy lightweight rig and just go even faster, definitely. But from what racing I do, man, I've raced A-grade on the 10.56 kilo bike on the Gold Coast in Australia and it doesn't really make much difference. Cycling's a lot about aerodynamics. If you're doing the Tour de France, then yeah, for sure, you know, every gram ha counts because you're racing for, say, 82 hours over 21 days, and the winning margin, it can be as low as 23 seconds. I mean, you you got Condor and Schleck, I think it's 23 seconds, correct me if I'm wrong. So where every gram counts over an 82-hour race in three weeks, then yeah, you're not going to be riding a 10.5 kilo bike. You need the, the lightweight, you know, UCI legal bikes. But... For 99.9999% of us, worrying about your bike weight does not really fucking matter. Worry about bike fit. Worry about bike fit. Worry about carbohydrate intake that you get enough so you always got enough glycogen. Because it doesn't matter if you're Conador or Lance Armstrong, when you run out of glycogen, boom, your wattage just goes through the fucking floor and you get dropped out the ass off the back. See you later. You're chilling the stem by yourself down the road, getting passed by fatties. And focusing on hydration as well, because again, when you get dehydrated, boom, you're off the back as well. So all this focus on bike weight, man, working in the bike industry, I can tell you, man, it, it's just bullshit. You don't need a fucking super light bike unless you're a fucking Tour de France contender. <laughs> a two, one or two or three kilos doesn't really make that much difference. Drop it off your body before you go and spend fucking your life savings on a crazy bike. I still out and smash it, and the only people who pass me is guys who are riding pro, like you know, Rowan Dennis or Jack Brobridge or Tim Ray's guys are like, boom, see you later. I'm like, hey guys. <laughs> and that's great, man. That's fine. It's good on them, man. They're fucking training full time. That's their goal. They're achieving their goals. Fucking awesome. It's fantastic. And I applaud that effort. Hard work and dedication. You're out there in the cold and the fucking rain and the heat, just slogging out the miles. Man, good on them. Fucking awesome. But you don't need a, a, to focus on lightweight bikes. Just focus on health and fitness, getting enough sleep. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get vegan Harley come fly past on his bamboo bike, 10.56 kilograms, riding no hands, and just going, hey, man, how much carbohydrates are you eating today? Or in the last week, are you eating enough? I don't think you are, blah, blah, blah. Giving you a hard time, as, as I do. And I've got people who are, 10.56 kilo bike, I can't ride that, it's too heavy. I need, like, it's going to use a leader 6.7 or something, doesn't it? Just fucking losers, man. I'm like, dude, like, you go to a website, weightweenies.com, you got fucking dudes wanking over fucking titanium spindles mixed with fucking wrapped in carbon fiber or something like that. They're wanking over it. There's the lightest bikes on the planet, and then you're like, do you guys actually fucking ride, or you guys bike collectors? Which is cool, man. If you want to collect bikes and wank over parts, power to you, man. That's all, no, 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 uh, ain't this and that. I'm just saying... I can the focus if for performance, put it on your on your health and on your body. And again, you want to have the balance there. You don't want to go too crazy and under eat and just get fucking dropped and you know spat out the back and be a fucking de a handful to be around. So you want to always want to have the balance. Problems with lightweight bikes, they're not durable. I was at a race the other night and and the guy came down, just a, a light crash, pulled his carbon bike in half. And I've been in so many races where there've been so many crashes. And ten years ago, people used to get up and ride their bike, and now. <laughs> You should almost wear running shoes because if you're going to have a crash on a carbon bike, chances are you're going to snap your wheels in half, you're going to snap your fork in half, you're going to snap your frame in half. These lightweight bikes are just too lightweight. There's just too much focus on this crazy marketing bullshit and durability's out the door. Durability's out the door. So now my next bike, it's not going to be a carbon fiber bike. It's going to be something heavy, like a heavy alloy or a heavy bamboo. Something strong because I ride my bike as a lifestyle and I don't replace my bike every year like you have to do if you got a carbon bike because those fuckers just crack a lot, especially in a low-speed crash. And that's cool, man. If you want to ride a, a carbon bike that's, you know, 6.8 kilos power to you, I'm just saying, man, you, you don't need to. Don't let people tell you that before you can be super fit, you have to spend fucking X, Y, Z amount of dollars on a crazy-ass lightweight bike before you can go out there and have fun and enjoy yourself because that's bullshit. I'll tell you right now, I've set all my personal best this year on a bike that's weighed... You know, between nine and ten kilograms. 
straight up, man. I'll tell you that. Sure, I could probably go faster on a lighter bike, but it's only going to be seconds faster. Unless you're riding the Tour de France, it doesn't really fucking matter. Focus on getting your bike fitted properly. So many people out there riding super light bikes, and their, their bar seat height is just like a fucking yoga master, and, and they're like, they can't even touch their tippy toes, but they're riding you know, <laughs> bar stem heights like that. It's like, man, crazy. So focus on bike fit, focus on getting enough carbohydrates, focus on hydration, focus on the early nights, focus on having fun, get a power meter train smarter versus harder. Just have fun, man. Get out there and, and give up the whole, you know, my bike's too heavy so I can't have fun mentality because I see it all the time working in the industry, people coming in, oh, you know, when I get like 30 grams off my seat tube, then maybe I can like keep up with my mates. I'll tell you what, man, if you can put a 10 kilo backpack on my back, and I'm still going to keep up with most people. Definitely. Definitely. So focus on dropping the fucking 20 kilos or the 80 kilos or whatever you're going to be dropping before you worry about buying a bike that one crash is in the bin. <laughs> Fuck, man. Disposable $10,000 bikes. That's what I call them. Thanks for watching. So I'll see you out in the road. Have a lot of fun. Stay carved up, hydrated up, well slept. See you in the road. Take it easy.